Why, hello everybody. Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel. This is Angel here. Today I'm going to be talking about some cities that are missing a professional team. Like, for example, like we know that Los Angeles, New York, Philadelphia, Denver, Arizona, or parts of other cities that have, you know, professional um, sports teams, like almost all of them. You know, they got a football, they got a baseball, they got a basketball, and a hockey team, which I'm not going to count soccer in this one, which I know I should have, but not everyone. Stick with soccer, but I like soccer, don't get me wrong. I really do, but anyways, we're just going to talk about the major four teams. So, those those cities that has all four professional teams, you know, they can see each other from any which city. However, unfortunately, not every city has all four. Like, for example, the few of them that I'm going to name. I'm not going to name every single one of them, but I know that for sure that they deserve to have a professional team of which one. Like, for example, some of them has one, some of them you're going to see they have two, or mostly all of them are going to have is three. Either two or three, but a tiny bit of them will have at least one. Like, there's some I'm not going to mention. I think only one city I'll mention, but that's going to be later on. So, anyways, this is uh, my personal opinion. I want to let you guys know these are my personal opinions. But um, if anyone wants to say something, you guys are free to welcome to say which cities that deserve which professional team. But like I say, these are just my personal opinions. So, anyway, so we're going to talk about some cities that do deserve to have which professional team especially that they don't have because they we know that they do have at least three or two or maybe one of them has one of them or possibly the other has one but this is my like i say these are my opinions so anyways let's get on with the video right now to say which city that does deserve it and also before we get started i want to let you guys know that um not just these are my personal opinion but i heard rumors that the uh, the national football league the nfl major league baseball mlb National Basketball Association, which is the NBA, and also the National Hockey League, the NHL, are seeking an expansion possibly later on in the next 20 or 20 to 15 or 25 years. They're going to start expanding new teams, which I'm looking forward to it. So these are all my personal opinions to so all that, like, this is just my opinion for the NFL, the MLB, the NBA, and the NHL of which cities do deserve this team. So anyways, let's get it on. Okay, so here's the thing. I know they have the Cincinnati Reds for baseball. They have the Cincinnati Bengals for football. But one thing they're missing is two professional teams. They're missing they're missing a basketball team and a hockey team. Well, yes, the closest um, basketball team is in Cleveland, which is the Cleveland Cavaliers. And the closest hockey team they have is the Columbus Blue Jackets. But, however, unlike Cleveland, like, you know, it's best off they don't need an NHL team. That's just my opinion because Columbus Blue Jackets is the most extremely closest but, however, in my personal opinion, Cincinnati deserve um, both professional teams. Because, yeah, like I say, well, the distance between Cleveland and Cincinnati is way too far away. Meanwhile, if you look at the distance between Columbus and Cincinnati, it's not as close as compared as Cleveland. Because, you know, Cleveland and Columbus are closer to each other. So, why can't they just have a professional, both a basketball team and also a um, hockey team, you know? Like, I bet everybody in Cincinnati, if anyone's from Cincinnati, let me know if you guys in the comments, if you guys are hungry for a basketball and a hockey team. Maybe they can expand it. It'll be cool. I don't know. There's a lot of names. Like, you know, uh, for basketball, whew, I don't know what Cincinnati's known for. They could be called the um, maybe Cincinnati uh, Wolf Heads, the Wolf's Heads, you know, like the head of the wolf, or Cincinnati Dinos, or I would say like uh, for NHL, Maybe the Cincinnati Gators, like the Alligators. I don't know. I know it's known for Florida. It has nothing to do with Cincinnati, but I don't know what names. What do you guys think? You guys got a perfect name for them? I don't know that much anything about Cincinnati. I don't know what it's known for because, you know, they got Cincinnati Reds for baseball and the Bengals for football. But give them a basketball and a hockey team. So that's just beginning. So let's move on to the next city. Now, another city that does deserve to have a Major League Baseball team is Charlotte, North Carolina. Well, yes, they have the Charlotte, I mean, they do have the Carolina Panthers for NFL. They do have the um, Charlotte Hornets, which is was, I was going to say Charlotte Bobcats, but I know the Bobcats don't play there. They're now the Charlotte Hornets. However, um, they do kind of slightly have a hockey team, but except the hockey team that they played in, Carolina uh, Hurricanes, they play all the way in Raleigh, North Carolina. So, in my personal opinion, um, Charlotte is missing is a baseball team. Yes, like I said before, they may have the Carolina Panthers for, you know, for NFL. They have the NBA team, which is the, you know, the Charlotte Hornets 
and the closest uh, hockey team they have, which, you know, they don't need a hockey team in their city because they have the, the all the way down in Raleigh, which is known as the Carolina Hurricanes. So if Charlotte can support all these teams, including a close by that's far away from a hockey team, why not give them a baseball team for the Queen City? You know, it'd be cool. They should be called the Charlotte Queens or the Carolina Queens. Like, you know, it'd be cool. Like, they have a logo for the Queens because there's no such... Like, I know we had the Kings and, you know, we had the Sacramento Kings. We have the LA Kings, my hockey team too. Well, Sacramento for NBA. But we never had a team that's after a Queen. So, why can't they call, them, call themselves the Charlotte Queens or the Carolina Queens? Well, I get it because, you know, maybe because the name is uh, for something. Or they should have a perfect name like... Maybe the uh, Charlotte, um, who else, what else Charlotte is known for? Um, I know they're in the South area, but <clears throat> I'm not so sure. So if you guys want, uh, comment down, what do you guys think? Uh, do you guys think that Charlotte is ready for a baseball team? I believe it should be because, you know, like I say, um, they do need a baseball team and uh, they're hungry for one. So, yeah, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of names. Maybe they should be called the Carolina Alligators, the Carolina, no, the Carolina Crocodiles because... Instead of alligators, they should be called the Carolina Crocodiles. Or since, um, I think because it, I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but I heard it does get raining a lot. I'm not so sure because I never was, I never been to Char or Charlotte. My brother has, um, you know, I, he told me a little bit details about Charlotte. So, or they have a, I think, you know what? They have a NASCAR thing. What if they do something like a race car, call it the, um, Carolina, um, racers or, they should be called the Carolina Bankers or the the Bankers because, you know, they have a lot of banks. I don't know. I don't know it's a perfect name. I know they have a minor league baseball team, but I would love to see if they have a major league baseball team. So, yeah, that's just my opinion. So. Now, similar to um, Cincinnati, um, they're one of the three cities that has both, you know, NFL and MLB. Um, I think, yeah, three cities. Um, we'll get to the third one in just a moment. But right now, let's focus on one city. Now, the city, um, the only closest hockey team they have is the St. Louis Blues down in St. Louis. And the closest basketball team is the Oklahoma City Thunders. But um, it is, you know, I know they have our rival team, which you know me. I'm a Raider fan. They have the rival team, the Kansas City Chiefs. And they also have the Kansas City Royals for baseball. But however, the only thing that Kansas City is still missing is a professional basketball team and a professional hockey team. So, why can't you just give them, like, why can't the NBA give them a team, same as the NHL, give them a team? You know, we would love to see a new team. Instead of, like, you know, if the Hartford Whalers didn't relocate to another city, which I forgot, comment down, because I forgot, the Whalers should have moved to Kansas City, and they should be called the Kansas City Whalers. That would be good. It's, or, I don't know how, how far Hartford is, but I don't know. But, anyways, this is my opinion, but right now, like I said before, i never been to Kansas City. Yes, I have one of my best friends. Yes, he's a Chiefs fan. I know. Raiders and Chiefs fan. <laughs> best friend. But anyways, it has nothing to do with rival team. But this has something to do with one subject. But what I'm trying to say was, so if Kansas City has the Chiefs for NFL and the Royals for baseball, why they don't have an NBA and an NHL team? Just give them one. Like, it'll be cool for Kansas City. Um, I don't know what city Kansas City is known for, but it'll be cool if we have the Kansas City Express it could be good, like the train logo thing, like express train for something like that, or the riders for basketball. I think that's just my opinion. And for hockey, that's a good question. Um, since we don't have anything that's a spider related, why not they call themselves the Kansas City Spiders or the Kansas City Tarantulas? Or it'll be good, like a spider related team for Kansas City, you know, or something, or the Strongers, the Pounders, whatever. But it will be good, good to see if we have a basketball. And a hockey team. Give one for Kansas City. And I'm sure everybody who is from Kansas City. Yes, I know I'm a Raider fan. Yeah, just ignore me. That I ignore the fan. Well, even though you're lucky I'm not one of your rival teams from the area. Because I'm a Dodger fan. Which, you know, fun fact is the Royals look. Oh, every time I see the Royals logo, it reminds me of the Dodgers uniform. Anyways, I have nothing to do with that. What I'm trying to say was, are you guys are hungry for a basketball and a hockey team? Let me know what you guys said on a comment down below. But anyways, we get more. Let's keep going for more cities. I want to know. Okay, so this is similar to um, Cincinnati and Kansas City. Yes, they both have a football team. And yes, they both have a uh, baseball team. But like Baltimore, they both have them. But they're missing is a NBA and an NHL team, a basketball hockey team. 
Yes, it's true. Baltimore is not that far where Washington, D.C. is at. The closest team is, y'all know, the Washington Wizards and the Washington Capitals. But however, we would love to see if Baltimore gets extra two more teams to see if they can be rivals with other Washington, D.C. teams. Like, I would love to see if the Sharks, like, you know, they're close by the river or the ocean, something like that. Baltimore Sharks don't sound that bad. Either it could be a basketball or a hockey team, one of those two. But like I said before, I would love to see if Baltimore gets a chance, you know, to have a professional team. You know, you know, these two professional teams, an NHL and an NBA team. Why not give them a basketball and a hockey team so they can be rivals with D.C. or close by, like, you know, possibly Pittsburgh, because I heard Pittsburgh's like three hours from Baltimore, you know, because I know the Steelers and Ravens don't like each other. Except the Orioles and the Pirates, they don't see each other unless every three years, unless they can see each other in the World Series. That's the only time. If they see each other multiple, that will be a good rivalry. But still, like I say, if Baltimore can support the Ravens and the Orioles, why can't they have a basketball and a hockey team like Cincinnati, Kansas City? If it's true, well, we don't know. It will be cool. Give them a basketball and a hockey team. We would love to see the, rival, the new rivalries for the um, Capitals and the Wizards. And um, I don't know, like I say, I would love to see Baltimore get all four professional teams joining with the other cities. But still, um, yeah, that's all I can say about Baltimore. And let's see if it works out for them, too. Now, I know they had two hockey professional NHL hockey teams. But, however, the first time they lost was the Category Flames because, you know, the Flames were Atlanta, they were known as the Atlanta Flames, but however they're relocated to Calgary, I believe it was somewhere around the 1990s, I'm not so sure, or early 2000s, uh, correct me if I'm wrong guys, uh, let me know because I forget, and I know they once had the um, Atlanta Thrashers, however in 2011, which it was a disappointment for the city, they relocated to Winnipeg, known as the Winnipeg Jets, but if it's true the NHL is expanding, why can't they just bring back the Thrashers back, because everyone wants the Thrashers back, they will do anything. I bet Atlanta's ready. Everyone's ready. How about it? We need the Thrashers back in Atlanta. I would love to see the Atlanta Thrashers back because, you know, Atlanta can join the list. However, you know, they have the Atlanta Braves for baseball. They got the Atlanta Falcons for football and the Atlanta Hawks for basketball. So the only closest ba uh, professional hockey team they have is the um, Nashville Predators, which, yes, we're going to get to Nashville, which usually I don't admit it, but now, I'm, yes, Nashville is coming next later on. But, however... This is the Atlanta we're talking about. So, if the Thrashers are gone and the Flames are gone, just give them a third chance. Maybe the third chance will be a charm because I'm just hoping that, um, you know, Atlanta will finally get a professional hockey team. Hopefully one day, it'll be cool if the Thrashers do come back. I know it's not going to be the Flames because they're in Calgary. And I know the Winnipeg Jets already got theirs because, you know, they were the Atlanta Thrashers. But have a new version. Maybe the city is ready. So, if anyone's from Atlanta, if you guys are ready... How about it? Let's get, let's bring Atlanta a hockey team. Now, the next list is Indianapolis, Indiana. Yes, they have the Indianapolis Colts for football, and they have the Indiana Pacers for basketball. However, there's two professional sports that they're missing. It's a baseball and a hockey team. Well, the closest baseball team they have is the Cincinnati Reds, all the way in Cincinnati. And the closest hockey team is all the way in Columbus, which is the Columbus Blue Jackets. So, if Indianapolis can afford, you know, to have the Colts in and the Pacers in, you know, for football and basketball, um, they're missing one thing is baseball and also hockey. Unlike Cincinnati, Kansas City, and Baltimore, which, yes, they all have in common, they all have football, but except that Indianapolis has a basketball, which the other three cities have a baseball, why can't Indianapolis have a baseball and also a hockey team? Hmm, I'm not so sure. But it will be cool if we can get an Indianapolis a good professional baseball and also a professional hockey team. If the NHL and the MLB can give it a good chance, I say Indianapolis could get a could have a good chance. Yes, it's true, Indianapolis has a minor league baseball team, I was told. But however, they need a professional baseball team. If they can get a professional baseball team and a hockey team. It should be Indianapolis. Maybe they should be rivals with the Columbus Blue Jackets for hockey. They're close by. And if they're in the same division with the baseball team, with the Cincinnati Reds, we will see a rivalry between the Indianapolis, whatever NHL team, against the Cincinnati Reds. But, like I said before, I've never been to Indianapolis. I think my, my dad has. 
Um, he said it's a really good city. They're really diehard fans for the Colts. And I bet there are diehard fans for the Pacers. So if they can give them a baseball and a hockey team, imagine, it would really look cool. I would say this. Indianapolis needs a baseball and a hockey team. Toronto, if MLB and the NHL can give them a chance. I would love to see that maybe one day, but who knows? You never know. Time will tell. But Indianapolis is ready for a baseball and a hockey team. That's all I can tell them. Now, another team that does deserve to have a basketball team is Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The closest basketball team is Philadelphia, which I know they have the 76 or so. Here's my question. If the Philadelphia has the Eagles, the, uh, the Phillies, also the uh, Flyers, and they have a basketball team, the 76ers, I know the good thing Pittsburgh, you know, they're humongous diehard fans with the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's their humongous um, favorite of all. Same as they love the Pirates. I'm not saying they don't. They I'm not saying they, they just love the Steelers. They also love the Pirates and the Penguins, even though the Penguins won the um, Stanley Cup. So let me get this straight. If they can throw terrible towels on them, why they can't just give them a basketball team? Why can't the NBA give them a basketball team? You know, funny fact is, um, I don't want to be disrespectful for anyone from Orlando. Uh, me and my brother, we once said, if the Magics don't get a good stadium or a good arena deal, they could just move to uh, Pittsburgh, call themselves the Pittsburgh Magics. But it's so weird that all these three teams that they have the black and yellow, but they don't have a basketball. I mean, yeah, they kind of have a slightly, uh, I think a minor league basketball team I heard called the uh, Pittsburgh Sledgehammers. My brother and I agreed if the NBA can make an agreement with that minor league basketball team, or if they do own it, they can turn um, that into a professional basketball team known as the Pittsburgh Sledgehammers. I would love to see the Sledgehammers as a professional NBA team if it does happen for a perfect name. Or if anyone from Pittsburgh, just let me know which is a perfect name for basketball. So, like I would say before, in my personal opinion, Pittsburgh is really humongous diehard fans with the Steelers. They're really good. They have a good fan base with, the, um, you know, the Penguins and the Pirates. But one thing they do need is a professional basketball team. So, give them a basketball team. Let's see how Pittsburgh will. It'll be cool if NBA can make an expansion. That's just my opinion. Okay, so we're going outside to the U.S., outside up north. is Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Now, I get that they have, um, I said this numerous times in my old video, the top 10 NFL, they expand um, cities. This is one of my top cities that the NFL should expand. So, yes, it's true that, you know, Toronto, they have three major professional teams. Aside from they have an MLS, like, I'm surprised they do. You know, well, I get it. They have a hockey team. You know, hockey's bigger in Canada, which, you know, they got the Toronto Maple Leafs. And also, they also got the Toronto Blue Jays and the Toronto Raptors. But one thing is they're missing is one thing is professional football, which is the NFL. Well, yes, it is true that Toronto has a CFL team, the, their own football league, you know. And fun fact is Canadian Football League started way before the NFL because I know they were the first professional t football team. They started with the helmets, the cleats, and the shoulder pads. I mean, it's big in America, but it started all the way in Canada. But I would love to see if Toronto can get their chance, if if Toronto is okay with the NFL, if the National Football League and the Canadian Football League make an agreement, they should have um, an NFL team here in Canada. Because, you know, well, even though the closest uh, NFL team that Toronto has is the Buffalo Bills, if the Bills did relocate it, I would not, it's like this, I don't want the Bills to relocate from Buffalo, but even if I did, I don't want it to be Austin, Texas. That, I'm sorry to anyone for Austin. I don't want to be no disrespectful. That's just my opinion. But my personal opinion, if the Bills would have relocated away from, from Buffalo, why they can't just relocate it to Toronto and call themselves the Toronto Bills? It doesn't sound that bad, honestly, Toronto Bills. Well, that's if they relocated. Now, I heard from another YouTuber saying that if the Bengals relocated, they should be called the Toronto Bengals. But, however, I don't think the Bengals would match for Toronto. I think the Bengals are perfect where they stayed at. But my personal opinion, the Bills should stay in Buffalo. Or if they were going to relocate, this should be the city. Because the good thing about Buffalo fans, they're not that far. They can just drive all the way, what, like like two and a half hours away from each other. And they could just drive to the border and just watch their bill, their beloved Bills in a new city. Even though that's their close by. It's like you're saying, um, it'll be if the 49ers did move from San, San Francisco... They should move, which I know they're in Santa Clara, but uh, instead of that, if they move to Sacramento, they should be called the Sacramento 49ers. Fans from Sacramento, from San Francisco, can just take a road trip. Even they can take a bus trip, like they can make money out of it, so they can see their old beloved team in Sacramento. 
So, like I said before, if the Bills was going to relocate, I don't want it to be Austin, Texas. I'm sorry, like I say, I apologize to anyone from Austin. But my personal opinion, the Bills should relocate it to Toronto if they can agree with it. But at the same time, as a Raider fan, I think the Bills are staying where they put at. Because, you know, Buffalo's their diehard fans. I don't want to see the Bills relocated because, you know, it's hard for, you know, anyone to see their beloved team. But my personal opinion, like literally my personal opinion, it would be cool if the NFL can expand one for Toronto. Like I said before, if they can get an agreement with the CFL and the Canadian Football League or whatever, whatever they can make an agreement on, maybe the NFL can have uh, a football team in Toronto. But I would, but if anyone asks if that's going to happen, would you like to see the CFL in the U.S.? The answer is yes. I don't mind seeing the CFL. Well, yeah, we we had CFLs in the U.S., but it turns out didn't went well. But the CFL can give this one a chance. Maybe they can give a city chance. At least don't start with the big major cities. Start with the from the bottom. If they like it, then little by little, then they work their way up. That's how it is. That's just my opinion. You know, that's just my opinion. But like I say, I would love to see Toronto get an expansion NFL team so they can be neighbors with, you know, the Blue Jays, the, the you know, the Raptors, and also the Maple Leafs. So that's just my opinion. I would love to see an NFL in Toronto. Now, another city that does deserve to have an MLB team is Nashville, Tennessee. Yes, the Tennessee has NFL Tennessee's Titans. They have the NHL Nashville Predators. But they don't need a basketball team because the closest one they have is Memphis Grizzlies. So we can scratch the basketball team off the list because, you know, Memphis Grizzlies is still part of Tennessee and it counts for them to get be closer. So if I was going to have a team here in Nashville, it will be a Major League Baseball team. But, you know, I would love to see if they can call themselves the Tennessee Sounds. Yes, is there a prof their minor league baseball team? It'll be cool if the Sounds or whatever the music city they can represent or Nashville Guitars or Tennessee Guitars or whatever. It will be cool if they can even um, have a cop you know, not copy I meant to say was if the MLB can expand new teams for Nashville. I would love to see Nashville get a professional baseball team, like I say, because if they can support the Titans, if they can support the Predators, and they can support the close by for the uh, Memphis Grizzlies, why not give them a Major League Baseball team? Because, you know, and I know this one person once, uh, who's from Nashville once told me that he wants a professional baseball team in Nashville because he wants to see how the MLB looks in Nashville. We would love to see that soon. If it's true, then yes, give one to Nashville because I know they're hungry for a baseball team. So if they can support the Titans, including the Predators and the close by Grizzlies, give them a professional baseball team and that's what they needed. Now, another city that can support a um, basketball and a hockey team will be Buffalo, New York. Now, the closest um, hockey team they have is the Toronto Maple Leafs, and also they got the Toronto Raptors, which I don't you don't count the New York teams because, well, compares uh, the distance between the actual New York City and um, Toronto, um, the closest is Toronto. So, yeah, they got both, um, you know, a professional baseball and a professional hockey team, I mean, basketball team. However, Buffalo has the Buffalo Bills, like I mentioned before earlier. The Buffalo has the Bills for now, which I'm hoping the Bills get an agreement with a good stadium. And meanwhile, they're diehard fans with the Bills. And also, they also got the Buffalo Sabres for NHL. But one thing they're do missing is, in here in Buffalo, is known as a professional baseball team and a professional basketball team. It will be cool if they can expand, you know, for new teams here in Buffalo, New York. Which, yes, I know even though the closest uh, baseball basketball is in Toronto, which, you know, Toronto has the Blue Jays and the Raptors. I don't know if you want to count the Yankees, Mets, same as the, um, whatchamacallit, the Knicks and the Brooklyn Nets all the way down in actual New York City. But still, the Bills are real. I mean, not the Bills, I'm sorry. Buffalo, you know, the city of Buffalo, New York, they really need a baseball and a basketball team. What do you guys say? If anyone's from Buffalo, let me know if you guys... Let me know down in the comments below if you guys really do need a professional baseball and a basketball team. I'm sure most of you guys might say yes, but if not, it's it's fine. And, you know, everyone has their own opinions and stuff. But still, if you guys can support the Bills you're diehard fans with, and you guys can support the Sabres, why not support the baseball and a basketball team? That's just my opinion, but they do need a baseball and basketball team. Now, similar to Indianapolis, New Orleans is, has, you know, they have a football team, the Saints, and basketball team, which is the Pelicans. 
But one thing they're missing with two professional teams is a baseball and also a hockey team. The closest um, baseball team is the Houston Astros. And meanwhile, the closest hockey team is the Dallas Stars, both Texas team. But New Orleans is missing um, those two teams. And um, the thing is that um, was, so New Orleans is a, is a really look like an amazing town. Okay, I have never been to New Orleans. I always want to visit there. I will always want to see the mainstream. It looks fun. That's just my opinion. But... If they have the Saints and the Pelicans, like I say numerous times in those previous video, the previous uh, about the cities, why they don't have a baseball and a hockey team? I don't know, but I would love to see if um, if MLB and the NHL can make an agreement with New Orleans. Maybe they should be rivals with you know Houston. You know they have the um, you know they have the um, the Houston Astros, and also they should be rivals with the Dallas Stars. But still, New Orleans is a really good city. And um, I would love to see if they can have a professional team. So, yeah, that's all I can say right now. In 2008, um, they had once had a basketball team, but now it's all really relocated to Oklahoma City, which is known as the Oklahoma City Thunders. Although now they finally got an NHL team for an expansion, now they have the Seattle Krakens. Meanwhile, the Seattle Seahawks are booming with the loud fans. And also the Seattle Mariners are having some great fans. But like I said before, if Seattle can have three teams, can the NBA give them an, an expansion team? Well, I hope so because they deserve to have a team. And here's why. Now, the reason why they deserve to have a basketball team is because, you know, fans are very upset, even to this day, that they don't have, you know, their beloved Seattle Supersonics. But I would love to see the Supersonics coming back. Imagine an expansion. Hey, imagine if the Oklahoma City Thunders come to Seattle and a lot of fans be like, that's the original Supersonics. All fans will be disappointed. It has happened numerous times before. Like, for example, like, you know, when the Colts left for Baltimore and when they faced the Ravens for the first time at their home, fans were very disappointed. Even there was fans were very disappointed in Cleveland when the Ravens came for the first time seeing them in person. And uh, there's so many teams that were that they left, even though they either they left, you know, they changed names or they didn't. They just, you know, took the names. And the fans see them as, you know, them. Some will be happy. Some, mostly, they want to be dis They will be disappointed. So, yeah. If the end, everyone's been asking for the NBA. So, please, even same thing, as a Laker fan, give them back a basketball team NBA. I would love to see the Supersonics coming back. And I heard they were our rivals, too. If it's true, I would love to see the all-time rivalry, Lakers and Supersonics. But mostly, I bet everybody will be tuning in to the NBA for seeing the Supersonics takes on the Oklahoma City Thunders at Seattle. And let's see how I think fans will be disappointed. So I'm not going to say it's true or not. That's up to the Seattle fans. If you guys from Seattle, let me know what you guys think. If you guys need a basketball team, which it might be a rumor has it. Now, another city that does deserve to have almost every four professional team. Well, actually all four professional team will be the good city San Diego however in basketball they lost the Clippers to Los Angeles and another thing they lost to Los Angeles the Chargers which yes I know the Chargers start in LA only once and then they mostly played in, Sienna, in um, San Diego for the entire second season I mean their second year as an existence when they were the AFL but however it will be cool to see if San Diego can give it a chance itself to get all four professional teams for now, they got the San Diego Padres, which, you know, the Padres ain't going anywhere anytime soon. But if San Diego can support a team, let's see if they can be rivals with every team in Los Angeles. You know, they should have a football team for expansion. They should have a basketball team for expansion. And they should have a hockey team for expansion. I just want them to see if they can be loyal to the city, man. It just makes me upset that, that they're unloyal and then they decided to move to up all the way up to Los Angeles, which... Ugh, I don't know. It's just, I don't even want, I don't know. It's just my opinion. But like I said before, it just, you know, it's just so um that they deserve to have more professional teams in their life. So give San Diego a chance. For the NFL, NBA, and the NHL, give San Diego a chance. They deserve to have a team. They need to have a team. And I'm sure, I'm pretty sure that they would, are they ready for and they're hungry for is another professional team. But we'll see what's up. You know, like I say, I would love to see if they can have another team for the, you know, for Airy, for, you know, for San Diego. But, yeah, known as homemade California burritos. Mm-mm, I love California burritos. You know me, that's my number one favorite food. 
They should get, they should, I would love to see if the Dodgers, I know the Dodgers visit there before. I would love to see if, if the Raiders, Lakers, and the Kings visit San Diego, who they're facing with, if they could be another rival team. I'm not so sure, but it'll be cool. That's just my opinion. So yeah, let's see. But there's uh, two more cities to go and then we're almost done here. Now, another team that does deserve to have the, you know, a basketball team is Tampa Bay, Florida. Well, yes, they have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they have the Tampa Bay Rays, and the Tampa Bay Lightning. But the closest basketball team is the Orlando Magics. But even if the Ma if the Magics did relocate it from Orlando, there should be, they could, instead of they relocated to Pittsburgh, like I mentioned earlier, if Pittsburgh, I would say no, they could relocate down, um, down south, so... You know, fans from Pittsburgh can just, I mean, not from fans, I mean, fans from Orlando can see their beloved Magics in Tampa, known as the Tampa Bay Magics. But that's if they relocate. I know, now hold on, hold on. If Before anyone puts negative comments, hold on. I'm not, if anyone's from Orlando, hold on. I prefer the, mag, the Magic should stay where they are because, you know, that's their beloved city. I'm not saying that they're having problems or anything. But what I'm trying to say was is if Tampa Bay can get a basketball team, it'll be good if they can expansion. So, I would love to see if Tampa Bay gets an expansion team. They should be called themselves the Tampa Bay Sharks. That's just my opinion, but it'll be cool. Tampa Bay Sharks, you know. <clears throat> Sorry, I just got something in my mouth. Okay, so what I'm trying to say was if Tampa Bay can, can support the Buccaneers, the Rays, and the Lightning, give them a basketball team. At least they need a basketball team so they can fill up all four professional teams, join the others. So... That's just my opinion, but I would love to see them. Maybe they could be rivals with the Miami Heats and the Orlando Magics. But still, that's just my opinion. I would love to see uh, Tampa Bay gets a professional basketball team. So, yeah. Anyway, so moving on to the next one. Well, it looks like another city that does deserve to have a football and a basketball team. Well, first they do have. A, they once had a basketball team. I heard they were rivals with Boston, but unfortunately they relocated to another city. Meanwhile, they lost both the Cardinals to Arizona, and you know the Rams are now in L.A. Uh, you know I don't want to get to that. I believe the, you know, in my personal opinion, St. Louis, it's a really good city. Yes, they have the St. Louis. I mean, I never been there before. I meant to say it was a good city for a sports team. I'm sorry, not a good city. I meant to say no. I've never been to St. Louis. I'm not trying to say it's a bad city or anything. What I'm trying to say was it's a good city to have a professional sports teams. Yes, they have the St. Louis Cardinals. Yes, they have the St. Louis Blues. But they don't have a football team and they do not have a basketball team. So why not give them a basketball and a football team? St. Louis is ready. I heard rumors that the in football and NFL that the St. Louis Stallions were supposed to be invented. But however, um, you know, like you all know the whole story. But if the Stallions could still be an existing team, it would be cool. Especially, I like the uniforms, the purple and gold. They should bring the purple and actual gold. No, not the Vikings color, like, you know, they're purple and yellow, which, no, they're not gold. They're purple and yellow. Just That's just my opinion. The gold is more darker yellow, like how the Saints have their, um, you know, their helmets. So, I would love to see if the St. Louis Stallions could be revived in the NFL, the National Football League. If they can, unless they can get by, bypass the uh, USFL, because... I know they have the Birmingham Stallions. I'm not so sure. I don't know. This is my opinion. But still, I would love to see if St. Louis can get a chance to get a professional NFL and a professional NBA team. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that is St. Louis ready for a football and a basketball team? Well, I hope so. I hope it happens because, you know, they'll be partners with the Cardinals and the Blues. And imagine they can see each other. I mean, not imagine they can see in the championship. Like, you know, on the NFL team, they face the Patriots in the Super Bowl. And they like how the you know the Rams were in St. Louis, or whoever's their basketball team faced the uh, Boston Celtics. It'll be cool if St. Louis can be rivals with Boston. I would love to see that rivalry. All right, then we still got one more left, and uh, let's see who's the last one. Before we get started, here's our honorable mentions of which cities that deserve which professional teams. Now, a long, long time ago, this city has been known as, you know, playing casinos, you know, staying up late 24 hours a day. But however, one thing that this city never has is professional teams. However, 
it changed like somewhere around 2017 or 18 when they had their professional hockey team known as the Vegas Golden Knights. And after that, in 2020, even though during the, you know, what was going on, not going to say it because everyone knows what happened, the Raiders, my beloved Raiders, my football team, went to this city. And yes, Las, and I consider Las Vegas is kind of like a second hometown city to me, even though born and raised in Los Angeles. Vegas is like a second hometown city because I've been there numerous times and I slept there before, you know, every year for different reasons because, you know, the, for vacation stuff, for stuff to hang out with friends. Hopefully, I'll do it again. And also, mainly for anyone that noticed, I'm a Monster Truck fan, the Monster Jam World Finals, which it was in Vegas every year at Sam Boy Stadium before, you know, the relocation, stuff like that. So, if Las Vegas can do... You know, a hockey team and a football team, they are ready. Yes. And it's confirmed from the commissioner from MLB, Rob Manfred himself, they would love to have a baseball team in Las Vegas. And also, I heard rumors that the NBA, the commissioner, Adam Silver, said to himself that he would love to have, that they might expand. The first team that they're going to expand for NBA is Viva Las Vegas. And, um, you know, um, the thing is that um, I would love to see if baseball and basketball. However, there were rumors that Oakland might lose a baseball team, which I hope the, I don't know. I don't know if they are or not, but I hope the athletics can get a good baseball park in Oakland. But they said, even if they didn't, I would love to see a good baseball park in Las Vegas. Like I said before, it's like this. I would love to see relocations for new cities, new chances, but at the same time, no, because the reason why, because, you know, that's their beloved city, you know. I don't know, like I say, but if the athletics did move, They'll be known as the Las Vegas Ace or Las Vegas Athletics. I mean, I would love to see the uniforms. They can add like a spade or a shamrock, one of those poker cards on the Ace, you know, the Ace of Spades or something like that. It will be cool if they change the color. I would say keep the athletics or keep the colors, but add something to it. It will be cool, but that's in my opinion. But however, I'd love to see my Dodgers and my Lakers. However, fun fact is I heard that the Lakers did play in Las Vegas that one of the few times because uh, there was a – situation was going on in Los Angeles which everyone knows what happened in 1992 because of what was going on at the time which I'm not going to say you guys can just um, type it in yourself but however I would love to see if Las Vegas can support you know a baseball and a basketball team if they have you know the Raiders and they have the uh, Golden Knights they can have there's no doubt they can have a baseball and a basketball which is the closest is the one in LA which y'all know the Lakers and the Dodgers are the closest for Las Vegas I would love to see if Vegas, um, you know, if Vegas can get both of them, I would love to visit their new baseball team in their ballpark, see the Dodgers play there, maybe the Lakers play there, and the Kings play there. I would love to see that. That would be my dream. So, yeah, that's all my opinions for the cities. Las Vegas is the last one, and yeah. All right, guys, that's all the cities I can say, and I did some honorable, mo memorable moments, something like that. Sorry, I cannot pronounce it because, you know, I'm still in my um, day off routine and stuff like that. So, if you guys want to see any of these cities, let me know what's the comments and what cities you, and what's the name of the teams you guys prefer. It's perfect for the names. Also, and if I miss out any cities or any cities that don't have professional teams, you guys are welcome to. And you guys are also welcome to uh, mention what cities, what's the perfect name for the teams. Like I said before, these are all my personal opinions. I don't mean no disrespect to some guys that didn't want it to see their team's relocation. I know. I understand. I don't like to see team's relocation. You guys are not the other one. As a diehard Raider, Dodger, Laker, Kings fan. But still, that's just my opinion. Alright guys, this is just all my opinions. If you guys got some perfect names for these teams, let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, that's all I can say. Alright guys, this is Angel, AALS3179. Or Angel Lopez, you can say. Or whatever you guys can call me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later.